Hello. Um, hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to explain to you about the phylogeny, biogeography, and systematic revision of plain long nose coral. As you can see, uh, in the picture <coughs> above lah. Okay. Okay. As you can see, there are three color in this uh, map. The the red one is indicate the plain long nose coral. The green one is the Sunda squirrel distribution and the blue one is the Bornean Mountain Ground Squirrel BMG. Okay. They all come from subfamily Nano Skyroninae. This subfamily is distributed from the Indian subcontinent to China and across the mainland of the Sunda land. The Sunda squirrel, uh, the green one, were high elevation were found genetically div divergent from lowland population. This is because the strong abiotic selection leading to the conversion of phenotype. Okay. On the result, the researcher found that the Vietnam red cheek squirrel were more related to the red chipped squirrel. The, these two were, are the same genus, that is Dreamomys. Uh, next, the common ancestor of the Bornean mountain squirrel and the, the Sunda land squirrel diverge from the line edge leading to the plain long nose squirrel. So you can see, um, this the the result is the the blue one and the red one here, the Sunda land and the uh, Bornean squirrel diverge into the plain long nose squirrel. Okay, this divergence was estimated along 6.62 million years ago. Okay, uh, within the long nose squirrel, the most recent speciation event occurs uh, in the Philippines during the Pleistocene period, that is uh, 117,000 years ago. Okay, this, the researcher conduct this uh, phylogenetic study by Nuclear and mitochondrial DNA sequence to construct the phylogeny tree, of course. Besides, they use the DNA extraction and DNA sequencing. Um, that's all from me. Uh, thank you.